Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I am super duper excited to film here. This is a product that I have been curious about for a long time now. I feel like since its release, but I don't know, maybe not quite that long ago. Either way, I see these adverts all the time when my mom and I are watching Married at First Sight. Uh, so they advertise on Lifetime a lot, basically. And I think along with that and the fact that these get a lot of hype in the beauty community here I feel like online these lippies <laughs> I was destined to try these out, right? I, I bought four of them. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't choose. All the colors they have are just so looking just good. And so I bought a variety, if you will. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. They were buy one, get one 50% off, okay? So, basically I got four for the price of three. And they are these. They are the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lip Colors. Now, there are two different lines, at least on Ulta's website. There's these normal ones, and then there's the nudes that they make. So there are more colors than just what you're seeing on one page or the other. But they're $12.99. They've got fantastic reviews online so far. So far, they've been out for a little while, at least few months I feel like but they've got 10 of the regular colors and then 10 of the nude colors and like I said I mean I think they nailed the shade range in terms of like wearable fun type colors of pinks of browns of purples that sort of stuff reds I just like I said I think the shade range is wonderful I had a very hard time picking out which colors to choose hence I ended up with four but either way these are just supposed to be long wear lip colors they are no budge gonna last up up to 16 hours and it just defies smudging and transfer you simply shake it and swipe it on and then on top of that these are formulated with caring ingredients which help provide a comfortable feel on the lips and they're formulated without animal derived ingredients or byproducts so I'm surprised these aren't listed as vegan but either way there you go and to use you want to shake these for at least five seconds before applying then apply as you normally would to clean dry lips and let fully dry until these are dry these are also flammable so uh, don't be holding up a lighter to your lips while you're applying these please I mean I would suggest to not do that anyways with anything or you know, even if your lips are new like just don't put fire near your lips I, d I don't think that sounds like a good idea anyways <sighs> So, like I said, I've got these four different colors. I am very excited about them. I just hear that these are wonderful. And I'm kind of thinking that today I should go with this berry color because like, why not? We're wearing purple, like I think this should be fun. So I am gonna go ahead and shake this up and get started. I am just, like I said, I am so excited about this product, you guys. I have been wanting to try these for the longest, longest time. I say that, I mean, it's probably been like a month maybe two months <laughs> but either way I am very excited about these so this is the shade 30 unrivaled and I'm just gonna twist it up okay it's got a nice vanilla scent I don't know how close you want to be here but let's go ahead and just swipe this on my lips are dry and naked so let's go ahead and see how this does these look really glossy at least in the commercial which I don't mind in the slightest. I love a glossy lip. Okay, I don't wanna mess this up though, so I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> okay, I think I went a little bit outside of my normal Cupid's bow. Said I was talking, so <laughs> this color is beautiful. It is a beautiful berry. I used to wear this color all the time back before you know masks were a thing, and I was super into lip color, especially when I was living in Boston. I'm like that was my go-to accessory was lip color. But uh, I can definitely tell that this is drying down, which is strange because it is glossy. So like I can kind of still rub my lips together, but they've also got that stick where they. 
You know what I mean? Like a normal liquid matte lip color would do. I mean, the color is beautiful. The scent is lovely. Really nice vanilla cupcake smell. But I'm just, I'm so curious to see how this wears throughout the day. I don't think it's as overtly glossy as it shows in the commercials. I don't know, maybe my brain is just misremembering. But I feel like in the commercials, it looks like hyper glossy. And even in the ads really like showing off the colors and whatnot on Ulta's website, it looks hyper glossy. It does have a gloss to it, but nothing hyper. I wouldn't even say it necessarily looks like I'm wearing a lip gloss, just like a really hydrating lipstick. But either way, color is gorgeous. It went on really nicely. It doesn't feel uncomfy except for the fact that my lips stick together. So I guess we'll see with time if that ends up going away. As of right now, that's kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited! I'm excited to keep wearing this and see how it does and I will report back to you when I feel it is pertinent next. Probably when my boyfriend gets home and I want to smooch his face. So I'll see you then. Alright so it's been about three-ish hours since I have put this on and I'm definitely noticing it's still got a little bit of that stick to it, just a little bit. But then it's also got like the, the crumblies on the inside. I'm just noticing it on the straw of my water bottle. And like, if I go like that, you can see on my finger there, those little things. So that just seems to be on the inside of my mouth. Otherwise, I think it looks completely freshly applied. I just, you know, I thought that was definitely of note. Not completely transfer proof, but also kind of transfer proof. So I was actually just about to leave and it's been about an hour since I've checked in with you all, but now my man is home. I can smooch your face and show the people. Mm. <laughs> and look, you have no lipstick on your face. None, none at all. How exciting. How exciting. So exciting. <laughs> all right, so it's been another hour since I've last checked in with you. And what would trashy TV night be? without a sandwich. So, I'm gonna devour a sandwich. This will hopefully look exactly the same when I come back. Show me a sandwich. It's a good looking sandwich. Oh yeah, veggie veggie. It'll be good, it always is. But the question is, will the lipstick? Time will tell. And I will show you the results. All right, the sandwich has been eaten. I feel like it looks pretty good. It's definitely gone. Oh, I did the chin thing! Uh-huh. Mm -mm -mm. That's no good. And I also feel like it came off like in the inner <laughs> rim. You know, you can kind of see that peeking through. Definitely came off on the napkin as you can see there. But I was a good YouTuber and I actually remembered to bring the lipstick with me so I can actually reapply. So this is very exciting. I feel like this is gonna be a strange one to reapply on top of itself just with the vinylness of it. But we will give it a shot. Okay, I actually think it did fine. I did forget to shake it. I know you're supposed to shake it. But it looks like it applied just like it applied earlier, so hopefully it doesn't have too big of an effect on anything. We shall see. Hopefully all goes well, things wear nicely, and I'll probably... Coco! I'll see you guys at the end of the night. <laughs> we got dogs humping each other. It's, it's time. It's... I know we're watching trashy TV, but Coco, we didn't need you to add to it. <sighs> all right, I'm off. I've seen enough. <laughs> <laughs> and ta-da, voila, I am home and this lipstick is still going strong, my friends. It has been, what, like 11 hours since I have put this on? That's really impressive if you ask me. And now granted, I know we had the touch up after dinner. And while this lipstick has its flaws for sure, I do think overall this is gonna be a new go-to favorite for me, my friends. This is just 
stunning. Stunning. I love it. I mean, the color definitely has something to do with it. I love this color on me, but uh, yeah, I just, this has been so comfortable all day. My lips has felt nice and moisturized. Dan, do they look nice and moisturized and kissable? He ignores me. <laughs> do my lips look moisturized and kissable? Yes, of course. Always. Well, no, you're supposed to say no, especially so with this lipstick on. Wow, it's great. That, exactly what you said, copy paste. Okay, well, that's so nice. Um, so, we got boyfriend's approval. This is wonderful. But really, overall, it comes down to my approval. And I give this two big thumbs up. Like I said, flaws are definitely there. It does the crumblies on the inside of the lips. However... It doesn't seem to, like, at least it hasn't been coming off all over my teeth or anything. And the stickiness, it's there, but it's not so obnoxious that it's uncomfortable throughout the day. And the stickiness certainly went away a bit. Not completely, but a bit from when I first put it on. Like, I'm not avoiding using peas and things, you know, where my lips would stick together. Like, that is gone. But bees are a little more sticky than a pea but either way I'm super impressed transfer proof for the most part the oiliness around my lips didn't seem to make this come off or transfer or anything it really was just the inner circle and it, this was still able to apply over itself beautifully it's comfortable like I said I love the color range and it smells good and I love like I said it's not completely vegan because it doesn't say it's vegan is that right but I love that there's no animal derived ingredients especially you know I think that big for like the red shades there's no crushed up bugs in there but yeah overall I just I'm super pleased that these seem to live up to the hype especially cuz there's quite a few of you when I had mentioned these in my Revlon lipstick review and I said that I wanted to review these lipsticks from Maybelline and there were some of you that said yes absolutely try them they're my favorite but then there were some of you that said no they do not live up to the hype they are horrible and disgusting so I was a little nervous to try these out but overall I was more excited than nervous and thankfully I fall into the crew of loving these I say thankfully because I bought four of them so at least they're not gonna go to waste you guys should certainly let me know how you feel about these if you feel like they fit into the hype or not you can also let me know any other products you want to see me test here on the channel and just overall let me know how you're doing you can let me know if the video is helpful or enjoyable for you by giving it a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I'd love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time stay well until then bye and most importantly are they cat kiss proof look at that white jet no lipstick here. A little cat hair transfer, but no lipstick transfer, so this is good. You just want food. Okay. No baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I, could, I didn't know what to think about that. Didn't know what to think about that.